Pinstriping is always, I feel like, tied to sign painting in that in sign painting you, you end up having to do pinstripes on borders, on frames of sign boards, um, when you do truck lettering and vehicle lettering. Uh, there's always lines like involved in signs, um, whether they're decorative um, or not. And so I think through practicing pinstriping on just very, um, just straight lines on regular sign boards, that's how I, you know, started pinstriping. Uh, but I was always interested in doing like the more decorative and ornate pinstriping. And as time went by, I, I've, I've been focusing more on that because I do really enjoy, um, I enjoy it so much because you're able to like establish your own style in pinstriping. Um, it's really playful. It also, I feel like, is holding on to like the loose gesture of your hand and it's like really expressive. Um, and that's kind of why I've been drawn to pinstriping. And now I really, um, I really want to focus a lot of my time on learning, learning to do that um, better, which, you know, it can take your whole life. <laughs> but uh, I've been enjoying that. I feel like one thing to add to that also is that with the pinstriping, the like on a signboard, usually the the pinstripe is not the focal point of the sign. It's an element of the sign. And when Lauren is pinstriping on a car, that pinstripe is the focal point. It's the center. Um, and the stakes are much higher when you're painting a car. And I feel like there's something about... Yeah, it's exhilarating. <laughs> the rush of painting this precious, most of the time, vehicle that means a lot to somebody. 